Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. In this tutorial series, I am going to show you how you can create a student management system using PHP. So if you want to learn PHP or create a PHP project and you are a beginner, then this is the perfect tutorial for you. I am going to create this project from scratch. So let me just tell you what we will make in this student management system project tutorial series. So we will have actually two types of user, one will be a student and another one will be admin. So what a student can do, a student can log in and see their course timing and a student can also apply for admission from here and a student can obviously see the courses, teacher and other things over here. So now let me tell you what the admin can do. So our admin dashboard will look like this, we will have a logout option for admin and when the student apply for admission and if the admin click this uh, admission option then admin will be able to see how many students apply for admission and admin can also add the student and admin can also obviously view the student delete and update that data as well admin can also add the teacher and the courses as well here you can see the teacher and courses and admin can obviously uh, update or delete the teacher and courses as well. So this will be really short tutorial. I'll try to finish this tutorial series in like a 12 to 14 video. So let me just tell you uh, what we require to create a PSP project. So for creating a PSP project, we require to download SAM. If you do not have SAM installed in your device, then all you have to do is that search for download SAM. And if you now just press enter, you will see something like this download SAM Apache friends. So just click on the first link, then it will take you to this page over here. You can see them for Windows, Linux and OS X. So you need to download them from here. So I will always recommend you to download the most latest version. So I am using Windows. So if you are using Windows, uh, obviously download the most latest version, which, which is 8.0 point something. All you have to do is that uh, click over here download 64 bit and it will automatically start downloading and uh, after that the installation is really simple all you have to do is that click next text next and then finish now i already have xamp in my device so i am not going to download it again so once you have xamp installed in your device all you have to do is that search for xamp over here and uh, the XAMPP will appear. I already opened the XAMPP over here. Here you can see uh, this is my XAMPP over here. All you have to do is that uh, by default it will be uh, like this. All you have to do is that you need to click this Apache and MySQL start. Then it will start your XAMPP. Now let me just create a project, PSP project. So creating a PSP project is actually really simple. Now for creating a PSP project, uh, first of all you have to go to where you download or install your XAMPP. Uh, most of the people install XAMPP in local disk C. If you just uh, go inside local disk C, you can see over here XAMPP. In your case, it may be different. It may be in uh, new volume F or new volume Z. It depends where you download your XAMPP. Now, I have my XAMPP inside local disk C. So, I will go inside local disk C and down here you can see XAMPP. Uh, you have to click on this XAMPP. Then over here inside this XAMPP folder, you will see another folder called htdocs. All we have to do is that double click on it and inside this hdocs we require to create our project over here. So whatever project you want to create in PSC you need to create it inside this hdocs folder. So let me just create a PSC project over here just right click on the mouse then click new and over here you can see a folder option just click on it and we are going to create a student management system. So let's just say over here uh, student management uh, let's say this will be our project name. So let me just open this uh, student management folder using sublime text. Now sublime text is a text editor. You can use any kind of text editor you want. You can use VS code, Atom, anything. I will be using sublime text for this tutorial. So for kit opening that folder, I will just click on this file, then new open folder. Then I will go to local disk C, then my XAMPP folder, then htdocs, and over here you can see student management. Let me just select it. So over here you can see student management and there is nothing in this folder. So let me just say over here index.php. Now since this is a PHP project, the extension always will be .php. So let me just save it, control S. Then I'll go to my 
exam ac docs and student management okay let me just click over here save so here you can see we have now index.php so let me just say over here a normal uh, html and inside the title we are going to say student management system and in the body let's just say over here a normal thing let's say this is the first tutorial so save it now how we can run this project in our browser now in order to run our pc project first of all you need to have your apache and mysql running over here like this and then over here you need to say over here on 27.0.0.1 and we will give a clone over here and after this we need to give our port number now for my case my port number is 81 because i changed my exam port number but for your case it will be actually 8080 so it may be different it may be uh, 8000 as well so for your case it will be 8080 but for my case it's 81 because over here just uh, check your exam port number over here so right now if i just press enter i will see something like this and if i go down over here you can see student management folder over here just click on it and over here you can see this is the first tutorial now it directly took us to uh, index.php which is this one but if it doesn't uh, took you this space then uh, all you have to do is that first write the folder name then you have to write over here index.php it will basically show you the same view so this is all about this tutorial in the next tutorial we will make this website over here you can see this website actually looks really nice we have a nice snapper a image a description about our school then we have our teacher our course images and their name we have admission form and a footer so we are going to create this website using only html css and bootstrap and this will be really simple it may like take around 30 to 40 minutes so thank you very much for watching and if you want to get notification for every content that that i upload about programming then make sure to subscribe this channel and if you like this video then let me know in the comment section and also give a thumbs up to this video so thanks for watching stay tuned and stay healthy